In three, two, one, action. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Andy Coach, George Calioris. Warm it up for bench day with some Tabata rounds. Feeling just kind of tired and stiff on this day, so I decided to do a little bit of time to warm up. Because if I didn't, I'd probably just putz around and uh, not really get much done. So I just did some basic stuff, ropes, burpees, goblet squats, and kettlebell swings. The American swing to try and get my upper back working, my shoulders working, and stuff like that. Uh, um, two rounds of this basically is a Tabata. So I picked four exercises, and it takes about four minutes. After that, I was feeling pretty good and pretty warm, so I just kind of went into my bench sesh. Not too terrible. Trying to tap into the glycogenic system, glycolysis system, whatever the fuck it's called, to use the glycogen as an energy system, because what I was about to do was an ATP derived exercise training, I guess you'd call it. And it's always nice just to burn a little bit of excess glycogen. It's what we eat for. If we didn't want to burn it, we wouldn't eat it. So, working on some flexibility, some timing with the squat still. Legs are pretty sore. From the day before, actually, they were really sore with all those squats and deadlifts. I didn't think I did that many, or it was that hard. It was kind of hard, but I didn't think it was going to crush me like that. So, that's why I did this kind of warm-up. And then into my dynamic effort bench. So nine sets of three still, 115 bar weight, and then 50 pounds band weight, something like that. I don't really know. Uh, just trying to move it fast. I use a different grip every time, 30 seconds in between. So I left it playing at regular time today because I want to I want to talk to you about my setup. You can see I got my shoulder blades down behind me. Ribs are up, so that puts my chest facing backwards a little bit so I'm not bringing the bar straight down like I'm standing and I'm closing and opening a door in front of me to have the shoulder blades behind you seats the shoulder in the in that tissue socket to where it has full range of motion but it's actively engaged the entire time if you leave your shoulder blades untucked or loose behind you you end up driving your shoulders forward, putting you into a very, very, for lack of a better term, bad position. You never really want to put your shoulders forward out of the center line of your body. You need to have a lot of balance in the shoulder girdle. So you stretch the ribs up when now you have an oblique stretch or an oblique sling, as they call it, which puts tension on your pecs and your lats. Your lats are the main source that the bar is sitting down onto, whether you're benching or overhead pressing. And then your shoulder now is completely activated and actually sitting in the shoulder joint properly to where you can move the barbell with your arms and not just your shoulder and your pecs and get an injury. So after that, I've been putzing around with these max effort sets just kind of building up as quickly as I can to a heavy single, not really worried about how much the weight is. So I went 135, 185, 225 with the bands. And that was three sets of one. And all it's supposed to do is teach me how to produce force. So as fast as I could switch the weights out, I went and just jumped back into it. Like I said, not really worrying about what the weight is, but producing maximal force. Because with bands and shit, you don't really know anyway. So it got a little shaky in that lockout, or that midpoint that I always get fucking stuck at. So hopefully, those band presses 
can help a little bit. And then I did six rounds of this. 10 dumbbell presses, 70 pounds, 12 bent over dumbbell rows, 10 pikes. Again, sitting the shoulder, seating it, shoulder blades together, rows, pulling the shoulder blades together, pulling the dumbbells somewhere up there. I like uh, bent over rows a lot lately. And it's never really good at them, so now I just kind of do them a lot. And wouldn't you know, I got fucking better at them. I think it's a good good exercise for building the back, and it's a good exercise for building your deadlift, or your snatch, or your hang, it, or your clean, or something like that. Because it kind of keeps you in that good position while you're retracting your shoulder blades. The pike, anti-extension, hip flexion movement, keeping the torso straight, so you're not curling the spine up. Uh... On your toes on the ball or toes out it's fine however you do it just make sure you're not just doing like a fucking crunch something useless like that my version of a low row with the handles pulling it down deep into the stomach I got the band on there so I don't uh, slow down as I get to the top trying to I got trying to work on my muscle up still had some coaching last night for my boss Ended up just being able to fucking bang out butterfly pull-ups. And uh, it really wasn't as hard as you might think it is. <clears throat> a little bit of a hollow rock, and then you should just be able to get into that position to keep going with butterfly pull-ups. And supersetting with barbell overhead presses. 95 pounds, ain't a whole lot. But sitting down kind of puts you in a weird position. So that's what I did them for. I did four rounds of this. So... I think I did 12 pulls and 8 presses, working a lot on my back lately. And that's what you gotta do. And then I did these straight arm press downs, 20 of these, as fast as you can move the weight. So clearly it doesn't look that fast, but the band is also slowing me down, don't forget. And these are really good for your lats, really good for your uh, rotator cuffs. Or bad form if you have bad rotator cuffs but uh, they can stretch you out a little bit you can see I start getting a little bit roundy there yeah it kind of is what it is because it's not it's just the nature of the movement's gonna round you over it's okay and then I superset them with uh, close grip bench press you can see I'm moving a little bit slow here really trying to work on my triceps my triceps are always lagging so I really have to work on them a lot Otherwise, my chest takes over, my shoulders take over. And I did, I want to say I did three rounds of this. So anyways, I hope you like the video. I hope you enjoy the commentary. If you don't like the video, make sure you tell me. And that's it.